everybody. We're just getting started. Uh, this is pretty much bumping 101 for anchored guys. You don't need a strong, powerful trolling motor or the river. Uh, really, you don't need a boat either. So you can do this from the bank too. Um, at the end of wing dikes, on the ends of tail dikes, anywhere there's current, you can bottom bounce. So this is this is for everybody. Um, I personally don't like using a trolling motor. Uh, to me, it's just a little tougher. Plus, I want more lines in the water. So right here, we got uh, the Tangle with Catfish Extreme rigged up. I got 16 ounces on it because I just don't want it. I don't want it going very far from the boat. We got a double rig set up on it. Back here, we got my uh, bumping rod, my Bass Pro Graphite Series bumping rod. We've got long leader. I think it's like a three foot leader attached with a Dakota 600 line counter. That way you can tell how far you're back. Probably about a foot to 16 inches on your uh, sinker line. And we're going to try to do it with five ounces. And uh, I'll get everything attached up and we'll show you how to do it. Uh, if you're fishing for blues on the Missouri River, the place to do it, especially when the river's stable, is basically in the middle channel because once that river starts dropping, these fish will go to the middle of the channel. So I don't know everything, but it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> so hopefully this all helps you. We got Shad today, Skipjack. I think we're going to catch some moon eyes a little later on. So uh, stay tuned. Later. All right. Got them ready. Got a skipjack head on this one. Got a, uh, a spine blood skipjack cut on that one. See if they like smaller baits. Then on these, we got a uh, whole shad. Just the tip of the tail's cut off. I cut in the, uh, the, uh, the gut pocket there to let out some more scent. We're going to start walking back. This is the setup that I was talking about that I had at the house I showed you guys pictures of. We're going to show you how to walk some bait. Okay, while you're anchored, you can have two poles out. There's one pole. The other pole's on there. Brian's already started walking. What you do is you set your clicker for zero. And you just let your... Start letting that line. find the right weight you shouldn't move back for maybe a couple feet at a time and basically lifting up every time I lift up and get to the top I let low the spool until I feel the weight hit If you guys get into a ditch, what I do in the ditches is I usually let, I'll put the rod in the rod holder and let it sit because a lot of times those fish are in those, in the backwater or under the underwater structure to where there's no current sitting out of the current. A lot of times you'll catch that fish. So I walked back to 280 feet. There's a GoPro attached to it. I hit a slack water spot, so I decided to just put it in the rod holder and let it sit. If there's a fish there, um, and if he's hungry, more than likely he's going to take it. So Brian's still walking, my Uncle Brian. Here's Uncle Brian. Say hi. Add him. He's walking. He's just using that. Every time he walks, let's line out. Nice and simple. He's moving a couple feet at a time. He's out 200 and 337 feet. Okay, we had a fish on here. I think he's still on. I'm gonna reel down on him. We got him on here. It's right out in the middle of the current, 260 feet back. Not as far out. No, leave that one out there. Seems pretty decent. Go ahead and adjust your drag right now. He's coming towards the boat. I think it might be a decent one. I might want to reel up these side ones, Brian. He's coming. He's coming quick. Oh no, he's coming fast. Oh, man. 
push cut and bump this fast anymore. You go, dude, the bottom of the boat. Oh, he's not too bad. Oh, it's a channel. But still, hey, it's a fish. The fish in the boat. Now nah, we'll just bass flip him. That's how it is, boys and girls. I've uh, been several times where I was with uh, Brian Saunders and, and it happened. And then, uh, but this basically shows you that you can anchor and still walk baits. I'm, I'm already back 115 foot. And my Uncle Brian's at 125 because he started before me. So like I said, you only want to move a couple feet at a time and then adjust your weights to where where it only moves a couple feet at a time. And you'll notice when you get a fish bite, either he'll try to rip it out of your hands or you'll feel the drag just appealing like crazy or you won't feel the weight hit the bottom of me anymore. Once that happens, flick your lever there and uh, start reeling in. If you start feeling weight on it, then just go ahead and get ready to set the hook. I actually like anchor walking better because I can control how fast my, uh, my sinker's going. I don't have to use up my trolling motor batteries. I still cover good ground why we still got other lines in the water so that's a plus of this you got you still got more baits in the water you can cover the outside bends and the tail dikes and the end of, of wing dikes anywhere there's current you can do this um if you're on a bridge fishing off a bridge i know a lot of guys from downtown des moines fish off the bridge you can walk baits there if there's enough current just got to get you a nice stiff graphite rod i got mine at bass pro and uh, I think it was 58 bucks. Graphite, it's extra heavy. Like I'm back 168 feet and I can still feel the bottom. The rod over. If you get one of your side rods, it goes down. Just put your walking stick in the rod holder and uh, get that fish in the boat. Especially if you're a tournament angler, it's all about getting fish in the boat. So, And if you happen to get a big one on <clears throat> that you cannot stop, it's always good to have a buoy on board or a life jacket or anything like that. That way you can uh, latch onto any of your anchor rope onto a life jacket or your buoy and uh and go after that fish because more than likely you ain't gonna be able to get him in in this heavy current unless he starts going upstream on you i'd only go to about 400 feet that way you can how much you're basically back bouncing all the way down the river Kind of helps better if you can get if you can read some fish where you're fishing. I've caught fish here before, so I thought, hell, why not? Let's give it a shot. So I'm getting kind of a slack water right now where I'm at. I'm not letting out as much. So a lot of times I'll just. Set the rod down the rod holder. And let it be for about 10 minutes. If you don't get anything, reeled in and start walking baits back again. Oh, it popped him. Like it anyway. Just can't see the 
couple of good tugs. Make sure you're, uh, here. How's your drag? Okay. Yep, can check the clip. This rod need reeled up. Why are you? <laughs> to stand up, Brian. Huh? Blue, is it? No, it's a big channel. Well, it's a big channel. You got him. <laughs> 